and A. <laughs> you ask the questions and we give you the answers. It is time for the questions of the week. <laughs> God, we're good. <clears throat> Clear the airways, right. yep. the esophagus. If you could only eat either breakfast. <laughs> <laughs> yep. <laughs> Try again. Sound it out. Why? I don't know, At babe. least once a time. A once time. Once a time. <laughs> At least. Every episode. Yeah. You stumble I on something. I start. I got, <laughs> Maybe we should start doing tongue twisters before we start. I got one for you. Here you go. Red. Leather, oh, God. yellow, leather, red, leather, yellow, leather. No, faster, five times in a row. Can't do it too fast. Red, red leather, leather, yellow, leather, leather, red leather, 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 yellow, leather, red leather, yellow, leather, red leather, yellow, leather. I try to do tongue twisters. I feel like I, I struggle with the simplest words. Good blood, bad blood. Good blood, bad blood. Good blood, bad blood. Two times is all right. <laughs> if you could only eat either breakfast foods mm-hmm. – Lunch foods or dinner foods for the rest of your life, which would you choose? Oh, I have to get dinner foods. Can't pass up pizza. pizza. I know you love your breakfast. I think I do breakfast. Every day for every meal. But there, like there are only so, so many options. But there's sweet and savoury. Oh, yeah, but the same with dinners. Give me a sweet dinner. Pancakes? No. Really? That would be a breakfast food. <laughs> okay. Sweet dinner would be like. It'd have to be like a honey glazed yeah. chicken or something like that. Mm. Yeah, but you can have like fried chicken and pancakes. Mm-mm. No? Mm-mm. They're all breakfast. I'm going to go pizza because yeah. I, I get can't. my sweetness from the pineapple. Yep, there you go. Extra pineapple, that's dessert. Yeah. Get in my mouth. Okay. Favorite spice girl. <laughs> mm. So when I was growing up, I loved Baby Spice. Well, I would go between Baby Spice and Sporty Spice, but now I'm a bloody obsessed with Scary Spice. Yeah. She's so cool. Growing up, I was a Sporty Spice. Yeah. Because I was a massive tomboy. Yeah. So seeing her in like trackies yeah. and a ponytail yeah. resonated with me. Yeah. Um, I think I'd go Ginger. Ginger's cool too. Could, I, but I feel like they're just both spicy. Yeah. Now I feel they're. like they have layers. Yeah. <laughs> oh, girls. I like onions. They stink? No. <laughs> Oh, you live in the sun. She was like, it's that's right, little white heads. heads. <laughs> oh, girls. Have layers. <laughs> Classic. 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 Trick. What was Ron Dog and Snuggie's first impression of each other? Do they get along? I actually don't remember the first time they met. I have no idea, but I know that they get along. 100%. They have a good time together. They, they went have, to the movies one time together yeah. without us. <laughs> Romance, we like to say. What did you see? It? No. no. <laughs> that was another scary movie, right? The witch. The witch. And oh, that's shit, right. right. It was horrible. Oh, it was bad. Oh, no, no, no. Ronnie hated it and Snoogs loved it. It's <laughs> hilarious. I remember that. <sighs> yeah, but I can't remember. They've always just been in our lives, which I love. Well, I mean. Like ever since we moved here, Ron Dog's always been there. They're just easy to get along with gentlemen. And they're just sweet freaking yeah. people, man. Yeah, they have yeah. things in common. Exactly. Like to game, watch films. 100%. Oh, when we go over, they go upstairs and we go downstairs. Yeah, yeah. We gossip, they, they game. game. Gossip yeah. and game. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay, what is your favourite memory of each outside the ring, of each other outside the ring? Probably um, your wedding. I was going to say, I guess it, it would have to be our weddings. Yeah. Like for, for me, it's your yeah. wedding. And for me, it's your wedding. Yeah. Just so special. I cried when you walked down the aisle. <laughs> I was <laughs> sobbing. I should post <laughs> on the Off Her Chops yeah. that picture of you and I at my wedding. Yeah. And then we should post your one. Yeah. That'd be nice. Yeah. I don't think many people have seen the one from my wedding. No, I look terrible. You do not. I do. You, you're beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> you're stunning. It looks great. Do you prefer the cold Christmas in America or the hot Christmas in Australia? Well, ideally I would prefer a hot Christmas because that's the way we grew up. But in saying that, December is like rainy season in Australia. So I feel like most Christmases from memory have been raining. It rains, yeah. Which is very sucks. rarely hot. Yeah. I did spend one Christmas in Canada and that was just beautiful. Yeah. I think for like scenery, yeah. a, a winter Christmas is beautiful. I agree, yeah. Um, but then the reality of like a hot Christmas, it's, it's just different. I mean, yeah, but Australia, we grew up. Yeah. 
And that's so sentimental. I, I, I love a summer Christmas. Yeah. I think I'd have to go Australian yeah. Christmas for sure. Yep. Snooks is going to get the shit. Getting that good audio, eh? Very microphones. Uh, oh, <laughs> edit that out. Excuse me. <laughs> Sorry, Mum. Would either of you consider writing a book about your careers so far? I mean, I've already taken down paragraphs. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So, I mean, one day I'd love to. Yeah. I kind of, maybe not on my career. I'd like to do it on my life. I feel like it would so start fun. with my life and just going to the career. Yeah. Yeah. I feel like career would be a, part a of it. career only book is boring to yeah. me. Like whenever I read an autobiography, I want to know where they've I want to know before. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. How they got there, what their families were like. Yeah. yeah definitely. Yeah. It'd be fun though. What are your spirit animals? Uh, I think a mermaid. Mermaid? Yeah. Do spirit animals have to be a f- made up animal or can it be any animal? Oh. I don't, I actually don't know. I think it's whatever you want. Whatever you want, right? Yeah. Um, I would say I actually don't know. I feel like you would be. Give it to me. Spirit animal. Spirit animal. Something very clean. Hmm. Maybe like what? what's a clean animal, like a bird? Snooks, what's a clean animal? Nothing. <laughs> He's like, why are you looking at me? <laughs> um, let's go with a unicorn because they're always just surrounded by light and when they fly in, they're just like, I love that. I'm here. Yeah. And Very clean. Um, majestic. Majestic. That's yeah. what I was looking for. Uh, mermaid like and uh, unicorn. Just go together. Yeah. Like peanut butter and jelly. Yep. Did you know anything about the Bella? Tw- did you know anything about the Bella Twins feud? Oh, because like yeah, after after we won, yeah, I remember um, that was, it was a while ago um, when they I think they spoke about it first how they were supposed to come back mm. and we were supposed to feud with them after yeah. we won the titles and then that, yeah. that didn't happen and yeah. I think for medical reasons or yeah. Um, I think Nikki got hurt. That's right. Yeah, she didn't want to. She didn't want to risk her neck, which is yeah, very exactly, one hundred percent. Um, we did know about that. Well, we had heard rumors, mm. and that made us so excited because the Bellas were like, oh my gosh, a, a dream. dream for us. Yeah. Um, so when that didn't happen, we were like super upset, but we had high hopes that something else would come along. Yeah. That never did. No. Gosh, that would have been amazing, though, to work with the Bellas. I I really think if that had happened, and I don't say this to make anyone feel bad. No. I I I just think that would have changed the course of our careers. I think so, too. Yeah. Um, in saying that, I love our careers. Oh, my gosh. 100%. Yeah. Everything worked out yeah. the way it was supposed to. Right. We can't dwell about that. Yeah. But, yeah, I definitely think if we were getting the opportunity to work with them, because they're so, like, there's – just stars. Absolutely. That's like what I they would have they would have lifted us up. Yep, and that totally. would have been so much fun. Yeah. So they would have taken us to the next level. Exactly. Taken us to the stars with them. <laughs> <laughs> would you rather only eat Vegemite or mayonnaise for one week? The fuck? Yeah. When I saw this, I was like, that's weird. I'm gonna keep it. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna say Vegemite. I'd say Vegemite too. Nothing against mayo. I do nah. like mayo, but yeah. Vegemite. I think so. Yeah. Good answer. These are quick. We're flying along. Yeah. Oh, I think that's last one. That's the last one. All right. I'm going to G this one up because last time I had the last yeah. question and it was just. And then you go, I was the last one. Okay. Yeah. See ya. <laughs> <laughs> and it's a long one too. Would you girls ever do a cooking episode of Off Her Chops? We all know how hard Cassie tried <laughs> with those cookies and Jess seems like she loves to cook. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I am the shits, all right? Yeah. But you never give up. Uh, I don't because I like cookies. Yeah. But when yeah. I make them, it tastes like. Crumbled shit. Oh, <laughs> that last time you did step up your game, though. They weren't bad. Um, um, I'd like to. It'd be fun. Like a live like a live episode where we cook and talk. I don't know. Yeah, <laughs> that would work. I mean, I hope that would be entertaining. I don't yeah. – would that be entertaining or no? Well, everyone loves a good cooking show, yeah. what people eat in a day crap. Yeah, they do like do that. You know what I mean? I feel like people would. I really like the idea of us doing blind taste tests again. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That'd be fun. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll do blind taste tests. I'd, I still love to do like an Aussie cook, cook off or something. What would you have in that? Like sausage roll. Yeah, but what are you going to make it from pie. scratch? Well, I'd buy the pastry 
Yeah. Like, I'd buy the ingredients. I wouldn't make it from scratch, but I'd buy the ingredients and then yeah, assemble yeah, it. Yeah, that's what I mean. Yeah. Assemble it. Assemble it, you know? <laughs> like Leamington, little caramel Ew. slice. Mars bar slice. Mm-hmm. Like that'd be nice. Love Mars yeah. bar slice. And then we'll just eat it in front of the camera. Yeah. <laughs> get those views. <laughs> huh? All right, you guys, that's it for today. Look, I, I got to apologise. I just feel so incredibly like I've just had no energy. Mm. And I just feel like I've been flat for my pork chops. I have to apologise for that. I think you've been great. I will say yesterday we had a big day, long day, didn't get much sleep, yeah. early start. Yeah. But we're here. Yeah, but I don't want to use that as an excuse, you Not know? an excuse, not an excuse, but I think we're everyone in life has a day has a days where maybe they need a little scoop of pre-workout. I don't take pre-workout. Neither do I. First of all, it doesn't do Coffee. anything for me. Coffee doesn't Coffee work doesn't for you do either. Anything for me. See, you've got those. I think I'm energy. caffeine resistant. Mm. Is what I think I am. But when I need the boost, can't get it. Can't get it. No. No, I, 